Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirits, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand. Olmec, the holy warrior. Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. Tell me about your job. Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. This displeases me, but I have not decided what I will do with my displeasure. I guess I will continue to converse with you. What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, Holy One. He has returned. What nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. N oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Quixacut, Quixacut, what, what, what is that name? I, can you please say that again? If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. He is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. That does not sound very nice, this Quitzikotl, Quitzik, what, however you pronounce his name. Tell me about the temples. The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Your tale told of the shaven head Otonmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land, trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one, they are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They ran to- The game seems to have crashed. Let me resume pretty close to where I was in the conversation. I'm not actually sure because I don't remember exactly where we were. Tell me about the warriors. Your tale told of the shape. Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nay, fearless one, they are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They rant only crazed things in the voices of ghosts. Okay then, goodbye. I seem to be very hot in this thing. Do you have something to cool me down, please? I think I'm going to die of heat, o overheat, whatever the word for that is, I don't remember. There appears to be some sort of a spirit warrior over here. Now it's gone, okay. Great. These are the sacred fire. Oh, oh, it's back again, hi. What are you up to? Great, it was nice to see you. These are the sacred fires. Yes, that one is, but what about this one? These are the sacred fires. Well, okay, that one is too, but what about this one? These are the sacred fires. Okay, but what about this one? These are the sacred Okay, I get the picture. His soul still dwells here. That is a very strange place for a soul to dwell. On the side of a waterfall. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to try to avoid walking on the path. Can I please walk through the bushes instead of the path? Because it seems to have these sound effects. Nope. 
I'm sorry, everyone. Oh god, that's fucking loud. Jesus Christ. This strange suit of armor I'm wearing seems to amplify all noises. It is very unpleasant. It is hot and everything is too loud. Can someone please help me out of this? Excuse me, can you please help me out of this? You look like me. They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue, and he repays them with destruction. Never mind, that is not me. He is a douchebag, and I am not a douchebag. That is totally not me. Clomp, 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 clomp. Oh, it seems there is another spirit that looks just like the other one that is just standing out here. Is that a pool of lava? I'm pretty sure that can't exist next to a body of water like that. I don't think it works like that, but... Anyway. Moving. Oh, wait, spirit's back. He too has been slain by the evil god. Spirit, what say you? Failed. All. Could not defeat one. Hmm. It seems you have a sort of, like, pre-reverse reverb thing done to your voice. Well, you think you're special, don't you? You think you're the only one that can do that? Well, I can do it too. See? How do you like, do you this? Do like this? Do you like my pre-reverb pre reversed thing? thing? Does, it, Does sound it sound pretty good? good? Yes, yes do, do you like it? You do like it, do you do like like it don't you? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. okay, tell me, tell me your spirit. name, spirit. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Mixcoatl. Elder's Lord Chief. Elder Brother Two. I don't understand anything that you just said, but please tell me more. You were the war chief? Yes. Victorious in many battles. What was your station as warrior, spirit? War chief. Eldest warrior. And leader of clan. Do you judge yourself a failure? How can that be when you have died in honor on the battlefield? Honor not! Failed village! Defeated by only one man! Defeated by only one man? Well, now that you say it, you do actually sound kind of pathetic. You should- you are a failure. I agree. Goodbye. Oh look, there's a pool of lava. I have to say this is not helping how sweaty I am. I really do need to cool down because I think I'm going to pass out from heat... Heat stroke, that's the name I was missing. Heat stroke, yes. Scalding lake of lava. Yes, scalding lake of lava. Scalding lake of lava. Scalding lake of lava. I'm sorry, hold on, I, I forgot. Could you please tell me what that is again? Scalding lake of lava. Oh yes, it's the scalding lake of lava. Wait, I forgot again. I'm sorry, what, what, what was that? Scalding Lake of Lava. Oh, right, it's the, it's the, it's, oh, God, I forgot it again. What is it? Scalding Lake of Lava. Oh, okay. Scalding Lake of Lava. Scalding Lake of, oh, fuck, my ears, oh, God, my God, why is it so loud? Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. It appears they have not cleaned up the area very well. I see various limbs strewn about. That is disgusting. Innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god. Innocence crushed in the fist of the evil god. Yes, thank Innoc you. God, why did they have to install this m sound amplifier inside of my suit? Hi, why do these things have eyes? Big head. I'm sorry, what was that? Big head. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what was Big that? Big head. And what about this one? Is it a small head? Big head. Ah, oh, never mind. It's a, it's a big head. This one appears to have died very young. Spirit! What say you? One battle died never to see honor on battlefield. Oh, oh, you died in one battle? You are truly pathetic. You should be doomed to this 
in but I forgot the name of the limbo. You should be doomed to limbo forever. I don't- I'm not even going to ask your name. It is so pathetic I don't even want to poison my mind with storing your name. Honor comes with courage, young spirit. Your courage at such a young age is honorable. Walk with head held high. Cannot dishonor or die in first battle. Curse me for eternity. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Xylonen, the youngest warrior of clan unproven. Xylitol? What kind of a name is Xylitol? Was this but your first battle? And last. Never. Yes, yes, I already know, thank you. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Youngest of clan. Fierce. I fought, but no avail. Dead. Same as Youngest warrior is not a station warrior. You are pathetic. Goodbye. You can't even listen to simple instructions and answer my questions. I shall not converse with you any further. Oh god, my ears. Oh my god. Speak to me, warrior. This spirit is restless for justice. Or you could disappear. Fine, I will wait here. I am patient. I am very patient. Spirit, what say you? Village doomed my dishonor. Tell me your name. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Omitok, the fearless one. Were you truly fearless? How did you earn such a title, Shade? Fought like wild jaguar. In battle. What was your station as warrior, spirit? New blood. Young to tribe. Yet not youngest. Older than Zilonen. Young but older than Zilonen. It is very strange that you would tell me this thing, Shade. Uh, I have a feeling that you are priming me with information to solve some sort of a ordering puzzle that involved dates or maybe... Ordering people by station. Yes, I think that might be it. Hold on, I will be right back. I have returned. Tell me about doomed -ness. Fear not, young warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought our clan. Quick to battle. Did we run? Quick to die. Well, you know it may have helped if you actually put on your armor before the battle, but okay, goodbye. God, these shades are so dumb. Oh look, here's another one, I don't care. Big totem pole. I'm sorry, what was that? The path is blocked, perhaps another time. Very well. Hello, citizen. That, um, there appears to be tons of rotting bodies next to you. That is disgusting. The Unholy One's power must be great indeed. Such destruction. Surely these people did not deserve this fate. A truly venerable woman. What is she doing? Is she making soup? Old woman, what say you? <laughs> I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although it did- I have returned. It has crashed again. I think I am in hell. This suit is very loud, it is very hot, and it keeps crashing. Yes, my suit keeps crashing. A truly venerable woman. Yes, yes, yes. Old- <laughs> What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband, the fool. What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ha! Huh. Tezacatl, 
the witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed and will die in vain. Huh. Your husband has small magic. Well, I will have you know I have seven inches of very large magic. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. Shattered them as if they were made of straw? Straw does not shatter. Madam, it b it bends. I what that doesn't make any sense. Straw does not shatter. No. What are you making? I'm actually very hungry. I would like to eat, but I don't know how to take off my suit. What is that you are mixing? Nothing important, holy one. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. I'm not sure if a bomb will help your bones. I think it might just blow them up, but okay. Goodbye. Ow, 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 my ears. Okay, that's better. Well, this is a wonderful room. There is nothing in it of use. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? <laughs> woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, O oh Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Who was your husband? His name was Tepic Talk. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. <laughs> I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes. By the evil one's doing, Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Well, you do, they do say you fight fire with fire, do they not? I guess Quetzalcoatl, how do you, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I guess he decided to fight water with water. Ha. Huh. Goodbye. <laughs> Good evening. Why does this woman worry so? <laughs> yes, I can tell she is worrying because of the motions of her hands. That is the worry sign. She's making the worry sign at me. <laughs> woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the Evil One came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl, and now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. What magics did he wield? 
He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the Temple of Water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, burying the Temple of Wind. Only the Temple of the Jaguar withstood his power. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec, oh wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts, but his mind, it's elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroyed the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. Something tells me this is a quest that I will now have to do to find this daughter. Hey, there's a shiny thing here. I like shiny things. Excuse me, what the fuck are you doing? Excuse me. Such destruction. Much of the original village seems to be buried beneath the rocks. Excuse me, sir, I need to go pick up the shiny thing that has distracted me, but I will be right back to inquire about your grunting noises. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. There. Sir, I have returned like I previously said ten seconds ago that I would inquire about your grunting noises. What are you up to? Tell me your station. This lowly worker appears strong and proud. You there, what is your station? I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? <laughs> Why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. Hey, I will have you know when I was putting on I was putting on this suit when you were being attacked. It is a very hard suit to put on. It is very uncomfortable and it took me 10 hours to fully get it on. Okay? It is serious. It is very very serious. I seriously want out of this suit. Can you please smash this suit? I am I am tortured. I live a tortured existence. Late? You say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. And you come to us now? The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I have lost everything that is dear to me. You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me, and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death, we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. Goodbye, Mason. Uh, there. Get back to your grunting. Ow, 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 this, this is loud. Oh, God. The sound displeases me. Please fix this immediately. Ooh, a pyramid. 
most sacred warrior. You must find blood that springs from a holy heart, and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you, and then you may enter the Temple of the Jaguar. Cool story, bro. A sacrificial bowl. It is caked with dried blood. An empty sacrificial bowl. This must be the Jaguar Temple. This must be the Jaguar Temple. I'm sorry, I forgot what this is. Can you please tell me what this is again? This must be the Jaguar Temple. Oh, okay, thank you. Wait, what was this? This must be the Jaguar Temple. Okay, goodbye. Ow, 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 my ears. I cannot even remember where I've been before now. Where am I going? Have I been up here? No, I have not. Oh, that looks lovely. I like what you've done with the place. Oh. Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. Excuse me, sir, are you conducting an orchestra? You are aware there is no one to play your music that you appear to be trying to mimic with your hands, right? There is the evil god himself. Oh, never mind, it is Quetzalcoatl. I'm sorry, how do I pronounce your name? Quetzalcoatl, why have you returned to this place? Olmec, I should have known you'd come. You follow your god's commands like the dog that you are. Go back down to your followers and wait for your death as they do. You are powerless against me here! You dare speak to me in such a tone? I have enough power to handle the likes of you. Ha! Empty threats from a cowardly warrior. Why do you seek to destroy those that worshipped you? You were their greatest king! Ah! They are loyal to none but themselves. Soon after my death, they stop offering sacrifice, and now they will pay with their lives! Why have you left your heavenly throne? For a god to return to this land is a disgrace! I am more than a god. I am a warrior. That idle throne is an empty chair that threatens to devour my eternal soul. I will conquer this world one village at a time until all are destroyed! And then what? When there is nothing left to conquer, what will you do? I grow with the power of the souls I consume. When this world has been stripped of all its souls, I will be the most powerful god of all! I will conquer the heavens! <laughs> you seem to be mad. And you are a god. I guess you are a mad god. Goodbye. Hold on, I just realized I may be able to interact with this thing up here and release the lava flow. Can I? A large statue. Violent earth magic has made it unstable. Hmm, this is very suspicious. Perhaps I can interact with this. Excellent. Now the lava will overflow and kill everyone. I don't even know what that just did. I think that's the water temple and maybe I just- It is not possible. What? I think I may have just taken care of the flooding in- Oh god, my ears. In the water temple. Ow, ow, ow. Never mind, I did not take care of the flooding, I just made a bridge over troubled waters. Although the waters appear to be about half a foot deep, so I could have just walked into it anyway, but I am a god, ha 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 ha. I do not wade through water like you simpletons. What the fuck is this? Is this the puzzle? I don't like puzzles. Carved stone. It seems to be a piece of something greater. An empty what? No, that is not what I meant to do. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the water temple. Oh no, is this a- Oh fuck me, oh, no. God. No, 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 no. Let me try the front first. Is this a pressure plate? Clearly, this is the temple of water. Clear 
clearly. I'm sorry, I forgot. What temple is this? Clearly, this is the temple of water. Oh, okay, that's right. You know, I was just starting to cool down, but then I walked across this lava bridge, and now my feet burn. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I must solve this puzzle. But my patience is waning, so I shall pray to the gods for guidance on the path forwards. I have returned, and I the, the gods have told me about what I must do. They told me some bullshit about necklaces and stuff, and well, you'll see. I have spoken with the Mason Dead One. He will deliver the gift as promised. Yes, yes, Wind Temple, thank you, goodbye. Now let's push this shit over. There, <sighs> the way is open to me. Hulk push. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Excuse me, is there a little girl waiting in here? A certain daughter that whose screams could obviously be heard by anyone in the village, but for some reason no one ever heard it, and so they suspected you are dead except for the wife, but everyone else believes you to be dead. Are you in there? Boulders are no match for the mighty Olmec. Ah, 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 push aside the boulders. Yes, push them aside. Here we go. Greetings, little one. How are you doing? I'm sorry, did I scare you? There is no reason to you be scared. You must be the stone daughter. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. Take my huge hand. I will try not to crush all of your bones with my squeezing. Watch your head. Kotulkyu, my daughter. You have returned from death. Fool. She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. Oh, my precious daughter. I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. Okay, now I need to talk to someone here, but I don't remember who. Let's talk to everyone. And these bucks too sweating and grunting as he tries to smash that wall. Okay, that is very strange. Wouldn't you want to spend some quality time with your daughter who you thought was dead? But okay, goodbye. Now who do I talk to? Is it you? No, I think it's the daughter. Yes, goodbye. Back to grunting for you. Those grunting noises make something stir deep within me. Something that I can't quite put a name on. It is very strange, but I find myself suddenly very, very regretful of being inside of this metal suit that does not bend. There you are. What are you playing with? This displeases me. Give me that doll. Ah, a precious little one. Child. Why were you in the temple? The shiny rock. It's pretty, and I like the music, too. Tell, tell me about this rock music. What is this rock music you speak of? It sounds heathenistic. Shiny rock? Yes, it's a big crystal. Like the one's father makes into jewelry. He made a scary mask before, and a necklace, and a lot of rings. What music do you speak of, little one? The gongs. Sometimes I can get a few of them to make the same sound. It's fun! It sounds like you are describing some sort of musical puzzle. This displeases me. Ow. 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 Excuse me for a second. Let me pray to the gods for more guidance. Hold on. You can't see it, but I'm actually praying as I walk. What does it say? Oh god, this is not cool. Oh no, I did not. Oh, are you going to go all the way back? No, 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 no. Oh, 
I seem to have lost control of my limbs. Here we go, what the fuck is this? Okay, we have a bunch of gongs and a gigantic crystal covering a thing. This is wonderful. Hold on, let me pray to the gods in real time. You can watch me pray to the gods. I do it very secretly and covertly. You can't even see me move. Hold on, I'm listening. Gods, gods, what are you saying? What, what are you saying? Gods, 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 what are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, here we go. I'm receiving a message from the gods. It says... Hold, hold on, I'm reading. I'm reading the gods' message. Look at the crystal and the gongs. You need to ring the gongs in order from largest to smallest. The other gongs will keep ringing unless you're center in the wrong sequence. The vibration of the gongs ringing all at once will shatter the crystal. Largest to smallest. Okay, thank you, gods. These I think I can do that. Produce music. Yes, they do. Largest to smallest. Empty largest to smallest. Oh, I don't need to enter some special screen. Excellent. Well, then I guess I will not crash. Largest to smallest. I think I could do that. No, I do not wish to use my suit. Excellent. The gods are very happy. Yes, yes. All of the... The 5,000 pounds of crystal material appears to have simply disappeared into the ground, and that is very strange. The wind totem. Mm, ah, 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 ah. With this, I uh, shall have control of the wind. I can make. I can finally make my paper airplanes fly exactly the direction I've always desired. Hold on. Let me pray to the gods again. What is this? Oh, we need to go back to the water temple, the gods are telling me. I'm so glad I have a direct line to the gods. Where is the water? Here's the water temple. Okay, what am I doing here? From left to right, press. I mean, the gods are telling me exactly what symbols to press. They are very smart. Five three one two six four. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the water temple. Five three one two six four. One two three four. Five three one two six four. Bingo. This pleases me. This pleases me very much. Yes. I have to say I really like the gods right now. Let me pray to the gods once more. Enter the temple. Okay, into the temple. Next step. Clearly, this. What the hell is this? Is that a fish? A ruby fish. Its blood-like coloring must indicate something important. A ruby fish. Well, maybe I can use this to put in the offering bucket. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing in here, gods? Please advise, gods. Advise, please. Uh huh. Pick up the water totem. The water totem. Do I have to do anything else in here, gods? I'm sorry. What did you say, gods? Hold on. I'm reinterpreting, recalculating, recalculating. Follow the path behind the Jaguar Temple to find the old witch doctor. Speak. Wait. Wait. What? Follow the path behind the jaguar. Where's the jaguar temple? I do not know where the jaguar temple is. This displeases me. Where's the jaguar temple? That is the water temple. I just went to the wind temple. Where is the jaguar temple? Ow, my ears. This hurts. This is very painful. This displeases me. Oh, I think this is the jaguar temple. Yes, yes it is. But where is this path? No, I did not mean to go up. This is the Jaguar Temple, no? This must be the Jaguar Temple. Just to confirm, this is the Jaguar Temple. The Jaguar Head. It speaks. Yes, I know that. Let's converse with the Jaguar Head. Most sacred warrior, you must find Never mind, I do not want to speak with it anymore, but it will not shut up. 
I am unable to stop the Jaguar head from talking. I am sorry. I have failed you. I shall seek the god's guidance while it blabbers. Never mind, it has stopped. Follow the path behind the Jaguar temple and find the old witch doctor. Okay, must be over here, I guess. Is this a path? No. No, it is not. Is this a path? Yes, it is. Hello, how are you doing? What is this? Is this a flag? I can't touch it, never mind. Is this old one preparing for battle? Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? My name is Tezecatl. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? It clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps the ancient rite of the warrior may be the answer. This sounds fascinating. Tell me more about the ancient rite of the whatever. Rite of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now, and is over at the huts. You would have a god do your busy work? This displeases me. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? Harsh words, your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You would sacrifice yourself for the village? It must be done. What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Yes, the totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The statues sheltered within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them, else why would he seek to destroy them? He is worried about some statues. He thinks their symbolism can hurt him. 
This quits a quick whatever his name is seems to be a very strange person. Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl, and soon she will bury me. Well, normally I would have no idea what to do next, but I have received more guidance from the gods in the interim and I know exactly what I need to do. First we need to do the rite of the ritual of the warrior person man thing. Yes, let's go do that first. I'm feeling that strange feeling again, but let's ignore that for now and continue on with my quest. I have found your daughter, Mason. It is time for me to undergo the rite of the warrior. You are truly honorable, Olmec. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I should never have doubted you. Enough groveling, chieftain. Get on with it. Y yes, of course. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. You've already shown that by returning my daughter to me. Second, you must recite the names of the warriors who have come before you in order of their lineage. Okay, let's do that. I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Uh, uh, no, uh, uh. not yet. I'm sorry. You must find all six before I test you. Shit, he saw through my schemes. There is... There is someone who I have not talked to yet. Hold on, let me go test them all, shit. As if this couldn't be even more painful, I have to make sure I talk to everyone once. Have I spoken with you? I think I... Oh, oh, and you're gone. Okay, that's great. Goodbye. Wait, and you're back. Already talked to you. That's one. I believe there's another right here. Two. That is two. I need six. Two, two, two. That's three. I've already spoken with you. I know that. I still remember that. My memory is not that bad. That is three. I don't... Have I spoken with you? No. Spirit, what's... Tell me about your stuff. What name? Oh, that is fascinating. Tell me about... The, oh, that is fascinating. Tell me about what, you... What? Oh, that's fascinating. Why do you... Yes, I've learned much. Goodbye. Ow, ow, my ears, I think that makes six. I'm going to assume that's six. Let's try. Okay, I am ready to do the ritual I'd now. Like to do you know all Yes. No. I'm Shit. Sorry. Okay, there's apparently one more. That probably makes five, the one I just did. Where's the sixth person? I am coming for you. I am coming for your spirit. I, what the fuck? I did not mean to do that. I wasn't even aiming anywhere near. Get off. Okay. One, two, three, four. There's gotta be five. Where the hell is the sixth person? Wait, have I speak? I, yeah, I spoke to you. Yes, I have already spoken to you. Yes, yes. Who am I missing? Who am I? When? Why do I keep? Why do I keep drifting into an Indian accent? Why is this happening? This does not make any sense. Oh, it is you. No, it's not. Shit. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Five. Where's the sixth person? Oh, wait a minute. I know where it is. Yes, yes, yes. Here it is. There you are. You're th you're here. Yep, there you what are. What does this noble warrior seek? Ooh, this one's floaty. Spirit! Tell me your words. What? Oh, that is nice. What about yes. your... Oh, okay. What, what about what? the warrior? Okay. Goodbye. 
Now we are done with our quest. That makes six. Ow, my ears. My ears would be bleeding if they could bleed, but they can't for I am made of stone. You might wonder how I can perceive sound at all, since if my ears are made of stone they can't vibrate, but do not think about it, it will hurt your brain. Yes, I am ready for the ritual. Like yes, you know? yes, yes, I do. I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the si Name starting the with the youngest and ending with the eldest. Well, I should be able to do this no problem, because I totally listened to what everyone said, and I know all of it by heart. Hey, gods, 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 what's the order? Come on, come on. Come on, don't take too long, he's gonna notice. He's gonna notice, come on, he's gonna notice, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What's the order? Um, <clears throat> The the youngest is uh, uh Xylitol. Zilonen. And uh Omatek. Oh, the next what, what what's the next one? What's the next one? Uh the the next one is uh um a tapioca. Tip it talk. And then Sent Sentiotol what the fuck is I don't even know what that Sentiotl. is. Next one is Hootsaloop. Hootsaloop. And then, uh... Mixed quote. Mixed quote. You are most wise, Grand Olmec. You are now ready for the ancient magics of the land, handed down to me by my father and his father before him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. You must be swift in your quest. Blood of the holy, flesh of the warrior, married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements. It is done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. Okay, it is time to go retrieve it. What? What? I j what? I just went to sa I just pressed the quick save button, and it said could not save game, not enough disk space. Not n not enough disk space to save game. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Did did it save? Okay. Now it's not saying. I, apparently, I ran out of disk space to save a. I have a one terabyte hard. I'm s what? I have a one terabyte hard drive, and it, an adventure game from 1998 just told me that I don't have enough disk space to save my game. And now, when I press quick save, it doesn't say anything about that. So apparently, it's working fine. I don't know. Let's try to make a normal save game and see if it works. Okay, it appears to work. I think. Let's confirm that. Load game. Let's load this game. How how the fuck can I run out of disk space? It it only replaces the quick save, right? That's what a quick save is all about, no? Oh look, it works fine. Okay, apparently I ran out of disk space for all of two microseconds and now it is back. Okay, let's continue with our quest, shall we? Wonderful. Let's just jump in here, okay. Great. Well, that was easy. You know, I sure hope my quick saves are working. I better test that. Load game. I know my normal save works, but I don't know about my quick saves. Let's find out. Is this working? Okay, my quick saves are working fine. Apparently I have disk space disk space again. Excellent. Excuse me, sir. 
I have a bunch of stuff. What am I giving you? This? This must be. Yes. I have the pot of might, old one. Here. Work, work your, your magic. magic. Very good. Thank you, sacred one. I will begin at once. I go to fulfill my destiny. May my sacrifice save the village. Yes, that was a noble sacrifice indeed. Although I'm pretty sure you could have accomplished the same thing even if you haven't hadn't performed a ritual. Even if you were a mere child, I'm pretty sure this effect would have been the same because the only thing he did was shoot you dead. But okay, noble sacrifice, good job. An Excuse me, I need your blood. Such an I can't you I can't uh, that 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 so I can't so I sh that I can't Wait, what? I thought I needed your the blood. Water to a ruby fish. I'm confused. Oh, never mind. I need to talk to him first. Although honorable in your sacrifice, the village is still in danger, old one. Quetzalcoatl has powerful magic at his disposal. M mask. I'm sorry, what did you say about the mask? Mask? What mask do you speak of? D death mask. <laughs> His power c comes from it. Where is it? B below the maze. <sighs> oh, a maze. I love mazes. I can't wait to play in a maze. That will be wonderful. Give me your blood now. I can't. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I also need your heart that does not bleed. Which, for some reason, I, according to the gods, can apparently find in your hut. I don't know why, but let's do it anyway. Oh my god, my ears fucking hurt. Jesus Christ. What is with these walking sounds? Why do I have these amplification things inside of my suit? And... What the hell is that? That looks like a plus one. From, like, a, I don't even know. Hold on. The candles give off a powerful fragrance. A crystal heart. Oh, it is a crystal heart. Okay, that explains it. And well done. Will, will we'll done. I don't even know what that means. What the, f the hell does that even mean? We are done and we shall take these items over to the Jaguar Temple. Ow, 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 ow. I am, according to the walk, I mean, according to the gods, I'm supposed to take note of the carvings on the side of the temple or something like that. Hold on. Is it, is it this? Wait, wait. Stone steps. The symbols carved into them mark this as a place of great magic. Ah, that's what they were referring stone, to. Stone. 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 This must be the Jaguar Temple. Okay, let's put this here. Holy warrior, an honorable offering is Yes, more is required. Oh god, I can't stop it from talking. I'm sorry, everyone. Will open. It will not Take shut up. Take the blood that flows from a sacred heart and place it in the second bowl. A ruby The offerings are accepted. The Jaguar Temple door opens before sacred Olmec. Thank you. You are generous. Uh, what the fuck? I am not in control of my legs. Someone please get me out of this suit. I know it's not a suit. I'm actually made of stone, but never mind that. It looks like a suit. Oh, shit. This is not going to be fun. The Jaguar Totem. Oh, just take it. That should be easy. 
Damn. Okay, apparently I need to put these in order. Hopefully the game will not... Uh, hopefully the gods will not decide to temporarily make me unconscious. Yes. Yes, that, that is what I meant to say. Hold on. What, what is the order, gods? Please tell me or give me your wisdom, gods. Turn the dials along the back of the temple until they are in order of the carvings by the stair from the bottom up. They are okay. Mm. This should be pretty easy. Stone Just please, wheels. please, gods, be Set merciful. To turn for some strange purpose. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Please, gods, do not make me unconscious. Oh, oh! I don't have to enter any special screen. Okay, never mind. Everything should be fine. Okay, hold on, hold on. Recalculating, recalculating. Bull's head done. Shit, where does it say? The, the, uh, uh, crescent moon. Yes, crescent moon. There we go. I can't see the next one. What's it set to? There we go. Crescent moon and the the next one, uh, infinity. Okay, excellent. Face. Excellent. And... Fish. Is that a... Is that a fish? I'm going to assume that's a fish. It kind of looks like a... A wolf's head or something, but I don't know. And the circle with the plus sign in it. Wait, what? I missed... What the fuck? The face... The star of the fish. Never mind. The star is the next one. That's the fish. The star. The st where's where's the star? Where's the star? There's a star? That's a face. That's a star. No, I don't want to use that. The fish is the next one. If the next if if the next one's the fish, then what is this one? I don't know. But this is the fish. Okay, and the last one is uh, the, the circle with the plus sign in it. Excellent. Hold on, let me save my game first. There we go. This should do it right about... Right about here. Excellent. Now I should... This shall be the mine. The Jaguar's power is revealed. What? Huh? Huh? Yes. Excellent. I, I knew that would happen. It was my plan all along. Great, something just exploded. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy listening to the messages from the gods. Ow, 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 I think it was this statue over here. Something blew up. Yes, yes, this blew up, okay. Now I must place these down. In a collect location, all of these totems. Totem. Jaguar totem goes here. I think they're corresponding to where they are in the actual village. So the water, totem. water totem should be here and the wind totem will be on the other spot. The will this do? No, that, hold on. There we go. No, what, what are you doing? There you go. Okay, it just exploded. That is wonderful. And now I jumped into the hole. Goodbye, everyone. I hated all of you and I, I'm glad I'm leaving.
this time? So simple. DNA test cycle initiated. Come on, come on. All together, you son of a bitch. Molecular cohesion affirmative. Yes! Test cycle downloaded to DVD. Encryptor sequence completed. System shutdown activated. The Maze. Oh god, I guess I'm still playing as this guy, so I have to go back to this voice. Alright then. Fine, I will do it. But first... Let's talk about the themes of this game or whatever. So yes, apparently... Well, maybe not the themes, but just the story specifically. So apparently the, uh, the disc that he inserted inside of the car at the beginning of the game is the disc that holds... Or actually the DVD that holds the solution to the whatever disease or something like that. The answer had been there right in front of him the whole time. And it's something that the, the other doctor, whose name I forgot, apparently wanted to uh, stop. Yes. Or something like that. What exactly has happened now, I don't know. Anyway, I need to escape past all of this. Okay. Success. Wonderful. Now where? Okay, apparently I need to go to the control panel. Let's go down. I assume this is the control panel. Oh, was close. okay. Well, I guess this is going to be a maze. Surprise, because it's called maze. Let's go. I did not mean to go down, but fine, whatever. I did not mean to go down there either. This is going to get me killed. But was Okay, wonderful. Well, that's going to take me to the same spot. That's useless. And I believe this is going to take me absolutely nowhere, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Or oh, is there a pathway? No, there's not a pathway here. Never mind. It's time to go back up. Well, I'm made of stone and only weigh about 2,000 pounds, so I think I'm going to walk across these wooden steps with absolutely no sort of supporting beam underneath. Surely they will hold my weight, yes? Okay, apparently they do. Whatever. Excuse me, could you please fuck off? Please? 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 Does that thing never shut off? I don't think it shuts off, does it? So... I don't care, I'm going in anyway. Shit. Okay, that was not pleasant. I also did not mean to go down there right there. But let, let's go back up. Let's find out what's over here. Okay. Well, I believe that is my final destination. Let's just hope I don't get killed in very creative ways on the way there to my final destination. <laughs> it is, that is a movie reference, do you get it? Do you get my movie reference? It's it's the final destination series where people... Oh, you, you get it, yes. Where the hell do I go? The walk... The, I mean, the walk... I mean, the gods... Do not offer any guidance on this step. They simply say, solve it, you stupid. Apparently, if you can't solve this, you're stupid. Well, I have to say, I what the fuck? I... Seriously? I'm not trying to walk down. Look at where I'm going. Look, look, my mouse is here. L look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it closer. Look at this. I'm standing here. My mouse is here. I'm going to move in this direction, right? That is probably what you would expect, right? And look what happens when I do it. Yes. What the fuck is wrong with this suit? I can't even control my feet. 
I, I, no! For fuck's sake! I'm not even getting around here. Go! This... This... this what? <sighs> I don't think I can go that way, because actually, I think this is actually... Yeah, this is the level beneath me. It just looks like the platform's connected, sort of, because there's absolutely no sense of depth. Well, fuck. Seriously, where the fuck do I go? I don't understand. Hold on. Purpley shit. There we go. Right, I can't go this way because it broke. I need to go... I can't... I can't... I don't have... I don't have any fucking sense of depth here. Jesus Christ. Seriously, I don't... I don't know how these things are layered. Because there's no depth. This is below this, I think. And that is between this and that. I can't fucking tell. This looks like a release switch. I can't go through there because the purple thing won't shut off. So that's pointless. I can go this way. But then it just leads back to the fucking dead end. Right? Wait, what? That is beneath this? I couldn't even fucking tell. I thought it connected to the same spot. It there is no sense of... There, there is no sense of depth here. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with this. Look, it looks like these stairs kind of connect into like a jumble. But apparently this is behind that. What the fuck? This makes me angry. This makes me very angry. Stupid shitty shit shit. What the fuck? Hold on. Let's use this shit. What? Oh, okay. Hold on, turn that off. Uh, I'm receiving a message from the guards. Hold on. Recalculating. Recalculating. Okay, uh, first and third circles pull the lever. Gotcha. Is that the lever? That doesn't look like a lever, but I guess that's the lever. Okay, apparently that's a lever. Sure. I accept that, I guess. Did that actually work? Hold on. I'm receiving another message from the gods. What do I do next, gods? Yes, put the lever. Bridge will rise into place in a block with lift dead if you lay. Look for the statue that is holding its arms in a touch down position. Push its arms down. What? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. How do I... Oh, I've got to go all the way around. That's wonderful. <laughs> actually, you know what would be faster than that? You know it would be faster than going all the way around with my stone feet? I'm gonna- Oh god, I'm gonna fall to the ground. Okay, that was uncomfortable. And hold on, um, according to the gods, we are supposed to... Um... Push the arms down. Okay, it's like some sort of a counterweight thing, that's wonderful. Does that block my way? No, it doesn't. This this could be anywhere from within one foot from the camera to 50,000 miles because there is no sense of depth perception. I don't- oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that actually was faster. Hold on. I'm receiving another mention from the- another message from the gods. Cross the newly unblocked path and make your way down to a lever. Wonderful, another lever. How creative. If I never see another lever in my life, I will be very happy. Okay, wonderful. I guess I'm going down here. I can't even see where the hell I'm walking. Okay, there's, there's the other... I did not mean to go up. Go back down for Christ's sake. Come on, man. What are you doing? Pull it and walk to the gate. What is the... Oh, that gate. Lock it open by pulling the lever right next to it. Gotcha. Oh, shit. No, don't go up. Hold on. No, what? I did... I did not press that. I did not direct my feet to go up the stairs. Go back down. Yes. Okay. I don't even know what accent this is anymore. It doesn't even sound right. 
is starting to sound weird. I think it's morphing into something else. Okay. We go over here and we do this stuff and then we... Oh, what the fuck? It sounds Italian or something now. No, no, stop it with this accent. Okay, lock it in place. This lever locks yes, the it gate does. in place. Yes, this lever locks the gate in place. Now we shall continue. I'm receiving another message from the gods. Get the mask, the gods say. Well, to you gods, I say what mask? Ah, uh, must take... Okay, what is... Where's... What mask? What are you talking about? What, what mask are you talking about, gods? Don't play with me. I'm very angry right now. What mask are you speaking of? Shit. Oh, that is apparently a room. Gee, how could I not have known? Even though I'm like seven feet tall and it looks like it's four feet tall. And it looks like a painted wall rather than a room. Apparently I'm supposed to know it's a room. Whatever. Get the mask. Hello. The death mask of Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Quig... Quiggle... Quad... Quigzigle... Quig... Sig... Sigle... Quag... Quiggle... Quig... Sig... Migzigle... Quag... What? Okay, whatever. My poor baby, you had an awful fall. I'm so glad you've come home. Home? Well, of course, silly. You did want to come home, didn't you? Yes, I, I wanted to. Well, then that's that. Hush now, Max. When you fell down the chimney, you bumped your head, and now you're a little confused, that's all. My... my head hurts. I remember hitting it. That's right, dear. You hit your head on the chimney. Now don't give it another thought. I'll take care of you. Chimney? No, I... I hit it... No, I hit it on... In... My... My... Car? No, of course not, dear. You just bumped... Yes, my car. I was driving and... The brakes... But Max... We've been waiting for you for so long. Don't leave now. We? Who? Why me and little Sarah, of course. <laughs> well, who else would it be, silly? But... But that's impossible. Sarah is dead. Sarah! Max is home. Max! You're home, you're home. I missed you. You're alive! My God, Sarah! You're... No! You're dead! Your tenacity is quite remarkable, you know. Your doctor tells me that you should have died in the car wreck. I wish things could have worked out differently, Max, but they didn't. You leave me little choice, old friend. Did you honestly expect me to sit by while you went public with your cure? No. I've worked much, much too hard to allow that. I guess this is goodbye, Max. I'm truly sorry it had to end like this. Farewell. Um, okay. The Gauntlet. Quetzalcoatl murdering an entire village. Morgan trying to kill me. Now I see the connections. None of this is real. No shit. You just figured that out, Max. Thank God, though, they trans they transformed me into the one character that runs or walks really fast. I make a permanent save here. Save game. Hmm. 
Hmm, apparently I do actually apparently I do actually have the hard drive space to save a game. That's surprising. I you know I didn't know that. Well, I think I've got like 80 gigabytes free out of a one terabyte hard drive, which uh, I need to clean my hard drive actually. But I'm pretty sure 80 gigs is enough for a save file for an adventure game from 1998. <sighs> oh hi, I. What is that? It looks like a giant eye. All right, so it looks like we're getting into a mishmash uh, sort of situation. Everything's coming to a head. I just transformed between all the different characters that I've played so far. And yeah, stuff, stuff's going down. It looks like this is kind of like a mix of a lot of my previous memories. It looks like the circus over here and pumpkin Those patch and all of that. my feet if I try to walk on them. I'm... I'm sorry, what What did you say? Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. I'm sorry, say that again. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. They'll, shre they'll shred your feet. They'll shred your feet. They'll, sh they'll shred your feet. You have hooves. Four feet. <sighs> Whatever. The stone reads, Jeddah Driscoll. Oh, hi. What does this headless apparition want from me? What does this headless apparition... I don't know, maybe you should talk to it. But apparently you can. A tombstone. Chris P. See you in hell. <laughs> A headstone. This one says, Chris S. One beer too many. <laughs> Chris S, Chris P, are they all Chris's? A tombstone. Your name here. <laughs> That's a good one. This headstone says, Travis W, nice goddamn cat. What? Was he killed by a cat? Hmm. A circle of children. Are they playing a game? A circle of... A wall of impaled pumpkins. A circle. Those things will. Sh yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Hold on, I'm receiving a message from the gods. Oh wait, no, I'm no longer playing that character. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm reading the walkthrough. Around, try to recreate it. The pumpkins. Wait, what? Go to the pumpkins and listen to the melody. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, I can hear it. Try to recreate it. The pumpkins disappear and let you through. What? How do I recreate it? What are you talking about? Oh. An Aztec Sarah's doll. A Grimwall comic book. I have stuff. But none, none of that's gonna help me make noise. What the fuck is the walkthrough talking about? What do you smoke in walkthrough? What does this... Is there anything else here? Steam escaping from a hole in the pipe. A bridge of thorns. Ouch. This game appears to be a test of strength. Hit the board and ring the bell. How am I supposed... How am I supposed... How am I... A, br a bridge of thorns. You have hooves or hoofs, whatever the correct way of saying it is. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't hurt you. Those things will. How am I supposed to recreate this? What is it a talking about? Of a cir a cir a a recreate it with what? A, 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 a wall. Who am I now? I have to hold on to my real identity. I am Max. Okay, I have the ability to switch between all the characters. Thank you for telling me that, game. Uh, uh, I feel very... Actually, this is horrible again. Please get me out of this suit. Okay, I'm going to switch into the little girl. Okay, I'm a little girl now. A circle of children. Are they playing, Are they playing a, a, a game? game? A circle... Oh, can I play? A wall of... A wall... Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Well, yes, they actually will shred my feet if I... <clears throat> I, I wow, that's actually going to hurt if I keep doing that. They actually will shred my feet now that I'm a little girl, but how do I... <laughs> An, a grim wall... Sarah's doll. A wall... How do I sing the song? Those... Th 
What does this? Can I talk to it if I'm in a certain form? What does this? An a what does this? A gr what does Sarah's? Nope. What does this? I'm confused. Well, I guess I could just switch to this and. I have stone feet, so it's not gonna mess up my feet to walk over this, right? Okay, good. Wow, the walkthrough didn't even mention this. This is weird. Oh, hey, you look lovely. Nice teeth. A giant clown head. What an eyesore. Clown nose. Clown teeth. A giant... Well, I guess, I'm guessing I recreate this song with that. But before that, let's look at what else is here. An empty pedestal. Something's missing here. Well, yeah, this is just little bits stitched together of everything. Alright, well, let's not go crazy. Let's go back and do the song. I have to recreate the song. That's... I hope it's done automatically. <sighs> that didn't quite do it. Why not? What am I missing? Do I need to be this? Do I need more arms? Got it! Okay. Oh. Wow. That's not creepy at all. Is... is this tongue made of meat? Why are these teeth flashing colors? Okay. I think I'm kind of getting burned right now, but... I'm not putting my hand in the fire. I'm not putting my hand in the fire. A I Grimwall don't... comic book. I don't understand. I'm not putting my hand in the fire. Right, so you need to be a stone to... To do it. I got it. But... Nope. It just makes one sound. No matter where you touch it. Never mind. Okay, there's different hotspots, but you can't even tell where one is and one was one isn't. There's one. Nope. There's another. No, that's the nope. same one. How many are there? Just. Nope. That's still the same one. Nope. What the fuck? Or wait a minute, is- oh... It, it's the type of puzzle where it gives you a wrong sound if you- If you don't do it in the right order, like you need to start with the right one. To begin with. Oh my god, this- oh my god. I'll be back. I'll be back when I finish it. My god, they- They must have been illusions. Everything is. Okay, I solved the puzzle and everyone exploded. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. So yes, you need to transform into the stone guy so that you can walk over these things. Even though I'm pretty sure you could walk over spikes if you had hooves. I don't know, it just seems like you could. Just, 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 yeah. Pretty sure you could. A human skull. What is that? It looks like a giant... eye. There's actually a lot of eyes out there. What is that? Alright. So, I hit this thing successfully, um... Oh right, that did the clown thing. Okay, so yeah, I've solved this puzzle. With the ring around the posy. Pocket full of motherfucking posy or whatever that. What is a posy, anyway? I don't know. Anyway, I've solved that. Um, I solved this puzzle just on my own. It was pretty damn easy, it was just mind-numbing as... All of this game has been, pretty much. <laughs> I solved this. Uh, to solve this just means that I did the tooth thing and then I transformed into a little girl and went into this little hole, came out his ear, and I got the... Uh, this. The angelic statue's left wing. Don't know what I need it for, but I have it. So now I've done two. Let's look at the walkthrough. Get the skull and give it to the ghost. Okay. So 
don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm about to. A stone crypt. It came up out of the ground. Oh yeah, the ghost was headless, wasn't it? Okay, I guess that makes sense. Sort of. Cement lid. Looks heavy. Well, it's a good thing that I'm made out of stone. I can't do that. Never mind. It's a good thing I'm made out of forearms. I God, look at the strength of my forearms. Get it? Forearms? Because I have forearms and also forearms is the name of the, like, the part of the arm. Yeah. Um, who's that? The head of the angelic statue. Cool. I guess. Jetta's body without a head. No wonder he was restless. That would make anyone restless. Jetta's body. Alright, so what do I do with this stuff? Um... Open the coffin, get the angel head, choose the Aztec attached statue and cross the thorn path, change back in the Cyclops and click on the carnival game. Note the color sequence. I did not A note the color sequence, actually. Hold on. Should I actually make note of the color sequence? Maybe that's the color sequence. Maybe that's the color sequence to solve this puzzle. Actually, it probably is, and I've already done it. Anyway. Yeah, chasing the Aztec Warren, click on the teeth, flashing red. Yeah, that's for the this puzzle that I already did. Climb up the clown's nose, collect the wings, and climb down the nose again. Okay, already done. Continue down the path into the tower, climb up the stairs, and cross the spider web. Hold on, let me switch to someone faster. Oops. Much better. Oh, yeah. Alright, go past the spider webs, which are where? Oh, I see. Um, something tells me I'm too heavy to do that. Those webs will never hold my weight. Yeah. <laughs> I love the animations in this game. Uh. Alright, what next? Mm-hmm. Choose a warrior character. Those webs will never hold my weight. I'm not going onto the webs. I yes, thank you. Look at the panels on the floor. From top to bottom, step on in this order. These plates on the floor look like they could move. I can't do that. I can't, I, I can't, I can't do that. Hold on, when it said choose the warrior, did it mean this? Is this the warrior? <laughs> ah, okay. A stone head. It seems to transmit energy to the statue. Ugh. I'm not strong enough to move this thing. You know, I wonder how you're actually supposed to solve this puzzle. I don't even care to try, honestly. At this point, I am totally... I don't care to try. I'm just... I just want to see what happens at the end at this point. I'm totally fed up. Impaled Aztec warriors. They're... screaming. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. That's the wailing I'm hearing. It's them screaming. Ugh. A statue of Quetzalcoatl. Alright, well, anyway. Um, step on in this order. The second... Fifth. The third. Oh, that's how you're supposed to solve it. Hold on. Every single puzzle that I've done, in, well, pr well, most of the puzzles that I've done in this scene here, this general area, this level, have been of this variety, where you can't use, you can't really use like your reasoning ability to solve it. You just have to brute force it. It's the sort of, I don't know if there's a name for this, but it's the kind of puzzle, or they are the kind of puzzles where. You have a bunch of buttons or whatever, and you can press them. And you have to do them in a proper sequence. And if you press a wrong button that does not is not a correct part of the sequence, it gives you a, you know, some sort of a wrong noise, like a wrong note sound or whatever, you know, like, done. And then the whole thing resets. And the way you're supposed to solve those is just press every button. So let's say you press, let's say there's four buttons, right? You press one, wrong. Press number two, wrong. Press number three, correct. Okay. Now you press 1, so the sequence is now going to be 3-1, wrong. Okay, so then you start over again. 3-2, wrong. 3-3, three, three, wrong. 3-4, three, correct! And then you press, um, 1. 3-4-1, wrong. 3-4-2, correct! It's that sort of thing. Where you just reset again and again, where you just brute force it, because that is the only way to solve it. You can't use, really, logic. Just, you just bash your head against it and keep clicking shit until it works, basically. That's about the stupidest puzzle you could have. 
It doesn't require any real intelligence. It just requires time. It's just like a time-wasting puzzle. There's no strategy. There's no reasoning. You just remember whatever you pressed before and try something different every time. So dumb. Anyway. Three. One, and then four. Okay, cool. What did that do? It disappeared. I'm not sure that helps me. Look at the impaled corpses and the wailing spirits above them. Spirits hovering above the dead warriors. Oh, that's what those are. Spirits hovering above the dead warriors. Wait a minute. Click on each corpse, further impaling them until the collective screams shatter the crystal. What? Impaled Aztec warriors. They're screaming. Impaled. Ah. I'm not... Impaled Aztec warriors, they're... Screaming! How would looking at them screaming cause them to become impaled, impaled further? Impaled Aztec what? warriors, they're... Screaming! I don't understand. But okay, let's look at everyone. Impaled Aztec warriors, they're... Screaming! Impaled Aztec warriors, they're... Screaming! Impaled Aztec, Aztec warriors, they're... They're screaming! screaming. Impaled Aztec, Aztec warriors, warriors they're, they're screaming. screaming. Okay, that did nothing. Walk through, what are you talking about? Look at the rock that comes into view. Look. After doing the correct sequence, it says, look at the rock that comes into view. Uh, 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 what, what, what rock are you talking about, walk through? What are you talking about, walk through? Spirits hovering above the dead warriors. Am I missing something? Hold on, um, I'm gonna be back whenever I figure this out. Ah, their wailing could shatter my eardrums! Okay, well this is disgusting. Yeah, I had to switch to this guy to move the big block. Even though the walkthrough didn't mention it. Uh, I guess just like the game's quality, the walkthrough's quality is going downwards at the end of it. Maybe because the walkthrough writer was getting sick of the game as well and thought, okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna finish this. Oh god, that is really disgusting. <laughs> Their wailing's getting stronger because I'm impaling them further. Oh. A piece of the angelic statue was trapped in the crystal. Right wing of the angelic statue. Excellent. I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff yet. Alright, what am I doing next? Enter the hive chamber. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. God, those things are disgusting. A strange hut. Looks like the structures that made up the hive. Indeed, indeed it is. Oh god, I'm walking on them. Ugh, big maggots. Strange machinery. There are four control levers. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, and that's, okay, that's a upper torso with no head. I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. Oh, it's a piece of statue. I thought it was actually a person. Gotcha. Well, apparently I'm supposed to punch a through honeycomb. these honeycombs. Looks like something is inside. Punch, punch, punch. Did I? Oh, I get it. I gotta punch them all. Ooh, that... What is that? An insect mandible. Cool. Keep punching, just in case there's more. You never know. Okay, apparently that's it. Now you do know. And what do we do with this? Mandible. Walkthrough? Don't fail me now, walkthrough. Come on, don't leave out parts. Mm-hmm. Work the control panel. Okay, just says work the control panel, so I guess it's done automatically? Yes, cool. <laughs> the disruptor is working. The grubs have moved away from the grate. Okay. That was strange. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Use it on the maggots, open the gate. Okay, open this. A grate in the floor. There's a tunnel underneath. Open that baby up. 
And now we Sarah's need to climb down. That is an interesting place to be. Where is this going to go? The head of the Angelic Sun. Alright. Up we go. Okay. Oh, that's the... Right. So I can pick it up. I have to cut that cord in order to get the piece of statue down. Or I could just cut it. That's fine, too. Right, an ins... Mendable. Done. Do I just... Can I climb down? Okay. Those things will shred my feet if I try to walk on them. Can I pick this 200, like, 200 pound piece of stone? up as a little girl. The torso of the angelic statue. Please tell me I can. Of course I can. All right. Will they save here? I think this is pretty much it. I think we're pretty much done. Now we just need to assemble it. The to Better, but it's still not complete. Yes, I can see that. Thank you. Better. Yes, I can see but that. It's Thank still you. Still not complete. I can't skip that dialogue, by the way. The Let me guess. Better. Yes, thank you. Oh, at least I can skip right. that one. And we're done. Blah. And okay, exploded and portal. Right? Portal. Yeah. Of course. Cause, cause portal. Cause yeah, why not portal? The statue is reassembled, and a portal has opened. The real world must be close. I can feel it. I'd better move quickly. I better move quickly. So I'm going to go as the slowest character that I know of. Let's switch back. Okay. Morgan's last game. Have to get through those columns. The real world lies beyond. This thing won't let me pass. What am I supposed to do? Seek the truth. Seek the truth. Okay, that clears everything up. Right. Well. Oh wow. Look at the. Look at the disturbing things on this game board. There's an arm. Getting injected. That my arm, I think. Getting injected with drugs. And more corpses and body parts than you can count. Actually, that's not true. I can't count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Okay. Walk through. Um, the objective is to navigate around the moving black goo to get to the statue holding the lighted orb. Right? And you have to do this three times. Okay, well, let's just see what happens, so it can't really solve it for me. Okay. I see. It's a mirror. <laughs> and I failed. Okay. This could be interesting. A 
glass statue of Olmec. <laughs> He's holding an orb. Yes, it would have been nice if you grabbed it, you fucking idiot. Jesus, you were right next to it. But I had to read your stupid description. Can you can you grab it? What? You don't have to grab it. I, I don't understand. Hold on. Navigate around the moving black ooh to get to the statue holding the lighted orb. There's, well, there's multiple statues, so what are you talking about? I... what? Am I missing something? Right. Hold on, I'm looking for patterns. Not. No, that doesn't work. Like, what the f- Okay, I'm gonna cut to when I figure this out. Okay, there we go. You're my hero. I love you. The shadow is gone. You failed, Morgan. I'm gonna live! Enough games, Max. This ends here, now. Do you know that the poison will soon condemn you to darkness forever? Lost to your doomed world. Lost to your wife. Lost to your unborn child. It's over. Head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, Dr. Jacob Morgan, has resigned. This surprising development comes just a few short months after the corporation made its cure for the DNA V virus available to the public. Dr. Morgan's successor, Max Lawton, the man who discovered the DNA V cure, had no comment. The trial of Dr. Jacob Morgan, former head of the Mercy Drug Corporation, begins this morning. Federal authorities claim Dr. Morgan hindered the drug's development in an attempt to increase company profits. He may even have gone so far as to sabotage a researcher's car, an act which nearly prevented a true cure from ever being found. Prosecutors are confident that Morgan will be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Threshold. Bare feet slippers? You need them to go on the rides, of course. Must I pass through the bowels of What the, the hell am I listening to? Is this like a this remix? Is a confusing mess. What? I wish I knew, man. Why? That's this is, this is what? what? Who are you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's a piece of music assembled from like samples of the dialogue from the game. Um the dawn of the insectoid. <laughs> um That's um interesting. Game. Well, at least I had fun with it. Thing to say. Hey, uh, who are you? <laughs> if this game was actually good enough for me to take it seriously, I guess I might actually be kind of taken out of the game by the absurdity of having music in the end that's sampled from the dialogue from the game, which is an obvious joke, but since the game is as ridiculous as it is, I don't even care. Okay, well, let me wrap up the game. Oh boy! Okay, let me stretch first. Uh, like, let me collect my thoughts. Okay. Alright. 
I regret playing this game. Gotta be honest there, I regret it. I, I definitely regret it. I heard good things about it. It looked good. I was excited to play it. It was pretty good in the beginning. And then it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And in the end, I don't like it, and I completely regret playing it. But it's not all bad. But anyway, like usual, I'm going to um, start with the things I didn't like so I can end with the things that I did. So what don't I like about this game? Um, okay, well let me just say that obviously I had a lot of technical issues with the game, with it crashing constantly. However, I want to stress that that is not a, I don't think that's a valid criticism of the game at all. Actually, no, it's definitely not a valid criticism of the game. Because for one, it came out in 1998, alright? So the original version of it could not possibly be expected, reasonably expected, to work properly on a modern computer. And of course, I'm playing the GOG.com version of it, and they, um, they usually do things to the games to make them run properly on modern computers. And they have. However, even on their website, it states, compatible with XP and Windows Vista. It does not mention Windows 7 or anything above Windows Vista. So even though they did their magic on it or whatever, even they never claimed that it worked fine on Windows uh, worked fine on Windows 7, which is what I'm running. So I couldn't reasonably expect it to perform correctly and indeed it didn't. So that's not a criticism of the game. However, it is nonetheless a problem I had with the game because obviously it frustrated the fucking hell out of me. Because the game probably crashed about 100 to 200 times. Probably not 200. Okay, probably, yeah, maybe around 100. It crashed so many times it kind of drove me crazy. So that's not a criticism, but that is indeed something I didn't like about the game. That obviously hurt my experience of it quite a bit. However, when it comes to actual criticisms of the game... Let's see, um... Okay, let's go with the big two. Oh, wait. What's about to happen? I think the credits are going to end. Let's see what happens. Anything special? No. It just goes to the menu. Okay. Right, so the big two problems I had with the game. Number one, puzzles. Number two, story. Let's start with... Let's start with puzzles. Alright, so the puzzles are... Um, well... They went down in quality. They started out kinda eh, sometimes kinda good. So it, to begin with, it was a mixed bag, a definite mixed bag when it comes to the puzzle quality. And then later on, they get worse, and worse, and worse, and even worse. They just get stupid, mind-numbing, mind-numbingly stupid, monotonous and obnoxious and terrible design all around. Like, you can see horrible design in so many parts of all of the puzzles. I don't even know if I can do justice to how bad some of the puzzles were designed. You saw little bits of it throughout. Or at least you probably saw little bits of it throughout my entire playthrough. Just all the freaking time, little stuff was just so wrong and broken. The lack of any hotspot, any, any key that shows you all of the hotspots on the screen, is horrible for a game like this. Just the way they did they, the way they designed all of the puzzles and all of the interaction was pretty freaking horrible. You're supposed to pick up tons and tons of items that you can barely see and they don't look any different from the background. And yet you're supposed to know that you're able to pick up those even though you can't pick up the vast majority of stuff on the ground. That doesn't make any sense. That is horrible design. You need to do one of two things, I think. You need to either make the items stand out so it's obvious that you can interact with them when, for no particular reason, you can't interact with anything else. Like, it, it makes sense that you can't interact with everything in the game world, right? Because making everything interactable would be an insane amount of work. And without all that much reward. If you don't have a specific purpose for being able to interact with it. So it makes sense that you can't interact with everything. So they're left with having limited interaction, where some objects can be picked up and used and whatnot, and most can't. So they're stuck in that situation, I get it. But... If you're going to have objects that you can pick up and interact with amongst objects that you can't, you need to either make it very obvious that you can interact with those and not others. You can do that various ways. You can do it through lighting, maybe. You know, some people put, like, lights to kind of 
make things that you can interact with pop out. Sometimes um, in modern games, you see like the shiny item, you know, items that you can pick up have like a glint to them or whatever. There's all sorts of things you can do to do that. I don't know how exactly you do it in a 2D adventure game, but I'm sure there's ways. And another way, which could be used to supplement the first thing, having some sort of highlight system, where items are not... Hold on, I'm, mis I'm misspeaking. Um, the second system where you... The system... The se oh my god. The second thing you can do is have it so there's a key you can press that shows you all of the hotspots on the screen. So it just simply shows you what you can interact with. That's good. And in fact, that should probably be combined with the first solution, where you make it kind of obvious what you can interact with through lighting and, and whatnot. This game desperately needed at least a hotspot indicator. And it didn't have it. At all. So that's crap. It meant tons of times where I didn't see something. I just didn't see it. And I had to use a walkthrough to even figure out it existed and could be interacted with. That's dumb. That's not something that requires skill from the player. It's not something that requires reasoning from the player. That's something that simply requires the the player to pixel hunt. That is the definition of pixel hunting. Hunting over the entire screen for pixels you can interact with. It's dumb. It's a waste of time. It's stupid. So that's horrible. That didn't help the puzzles. And the puzzles themselves are just filled with crap. Terrible, terrible, mind-numbing, dumb puzzles that are just... Oh, God. I can't even think of exactly what to say about the puzzles other than they're just pretty freaking horrible in general. I, I don't know. I mean, you want to see how horrible they are? Watch any of my videos of uh, the entire second half of the game. I guess. Or something. I don't know. Almost any of them would show how horrible the puzzles are in general. Yeah, this is a walkthrough required game. I can't imagine people actually solving, uh, finishing this game without a walkthrough. How terrible would that be? And the sad thing is, I know a bunch of people did it. A bunch of people actually had to go insane trying to solve the stupid puzzles in this game. Oh, dear God. Alright, so that's criticism number one, the biggest. One of the biggest. Horrible puzzles, time-wasting, obnoxious, terrible design, lack of a hotspot indicator, ugh. Okay, the other major bad thing. The story. Now, it started off pretty good. But, it... It quickly, like the, I'm talking about the outside story, basically. The story that happened outside of Max's mind. The one with the other doctor trying to sabotage his work and, and prevent him from taking the drug outside and getting a, a cure and all that and all that stuff. All the outside story stuff was horrible. It's really poorly written. Just, I mean, those characters weren't even real, real characters. They were just caricatures. They were just bundles of cliches kept together with bubblegum and tape. I mean, the evil doctor that tortures monkeys and doesn't want a life-curing drug to get out because he likes money and stuff. Are you fucking kidding me? That is a terrible story. It's not interesting. It's not unique. It's just dumb. There's nothing interesting there. Like, that is just really poorly written. There's no interesting material there, there's no interesting interactions, it's just a bunch of caricatures that serve as a vague excuse for stuff to happen in the game. That's all it is, it's just window dressing. There's no meat there at all. So those are the two major criticisms, the story and the puzzles. There's a bunch of minor stuff, but eh, I don't, you know, let's just stick with the major stuff. I don't want to spend 50 minutes talking about every little minor thing. Now... I did mention that I regret playing this, because I think the the bads of this game far outweigh the goods, unfortunately. Like, I think I think the negativity, the unpleasantness, the unpleasantness of my experience with this game far outweighs the good stuff that I got from it, which is why I regret playing it, but there is some good stuff. I'm not going to say I didn't get anything out of it. I did. There's some cool stuff here. Okay, so let's see what I did like. Um, the voice acting was... It ranged from okay to pretty damn good. So it wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't bad. Um, I really liked the environments. Both just the art, which was very good, and also the diversity in the environments. 
The fact that you go from completely different environment to completely different environment a bunch of different times, you know, from, from an asylum to a crazy circus to an alien hive to an Aztec village. That is really cool. I really like that they had such a diversity of environments. I also like the diversity of the characters, too. The fact that you get to play different characters, the little girl, the four-armed cyclops, and all of that. That is really cool. Never, never seen that in a game before. I think it's really cool just how much the game changed with what you do. That you just put in these different situations constantly. Always changing it up. You know, the game was always fresh. But then, of course, the puzzles totally kind of ruined all of that, pretty much. But but yeah, I do like the diversity. I really like the diversity of environments and the characters. And the fact that they have different um, capabilities, too. Like, you know, uh, Sarah's really small, so she can crawl in small spaces. Uh, what are, I don't remember. Grimwall? Was that his name? The four-armed guy? He's super strong, so he can push stuff. You know, they have different uses. The stone guy is super heavy. And thorns can't hurt him. And stuff like that, so... Not only do they look different and, like, they have different walking speeds, but they have different capabilities, too. Very cool. Aside from that, um, I liked... I think there's one other thing I can think of off the top of my head. Hold on, I think I forgot it. No, come back, brain. Come back, brain. What was it? What was it? Oh, yeah, I, I just like the idea of the game. Of you having to of your struggles in the game, solving these puzzles puzzles and stuff like that. I like the idea that your struggle is within your mind rather than a literal physical struggle. It's like the entire game is basically a metaphor for the struggle going on within his head. I think that's really cool, you know, struggling with his inner demons, that sort of thing. And just the way you get to explore it with all the different characters and all the different environments, and you get, you get to explore it from all the different angles. I think that's really cool. So yeah, this game is, uh... Well, frankly, it's not very good. <laughs> it's, got, it's got massive issues with its puzzle designs and its story. But it has some interesting stuff, too. It's got some interesting ideas. And some of those ideas are actually executed pretty well. Do I still regret playing it after saying all of that? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of still regret playing it. <laughs> but it wasn't all bad. Again, I got something out of it, so that's good. Okay. Well. There ends. I mean, there ends the crashy saga of Sanitarium. I hope everyone enjoyed. Goodbye. <laughs>